Okay, we're good. fixing. Should be able to hit. Be fixing. Yeah, there we go. Hit our AS Rock welcome screen, or not a welcome screen, but a boot screen, BIOS boot screen, and we'll try that SMS again. Um, as soon as we get to the menu, I think what I'm going to try to do is let's see. That was in Linux. Now then, SMS live. Yeah, it says live CD. Okay, I said I didn't know if it was installed or live. Well, that's why. Read the name of the ISO and you'll know. Okay. Um, okay, SMS copy to RAM. Let's see what that does. That's what I was thinking. It might uh, might get get rid of that problem of it. Evidently, since it's on an SD card, or maybe because it's an SD card and a USB adapter, it even. But it's made it sound like what I read on the errors that. It needed to think it was. It needed this. It needed SMS to think it's on a hard drive. Run SMS the same like above, but first copy all data to RAM to get this. Get the speed it needs. Okay, it takes one gigabyte. Uh, that'll be fine. I got two. Light Pixie Server Cluster Master Node Cluster. I used to mess around with clusters a little bit. It's pretty cool, but there's not very much software that is made to work with a cluster. So. You combine the processing power of however many machines you boot up to the cluster. I thought, man, I could put all these old machines I got in my cluster and do all kinds of stuff. But like, I, what I'd been wanting to do is video, uh, process, pro video editing, processing video. But there's, I didn't ever find anything like that. It's all like stuff for, uh, you know, ri uh, universities type of applications and stuff, math, and some video. Uh, Graphics processing, but like for medical stuff, that's all I really saw. That's been several years ago now, like 2010, 12, like that. I started messing with it before that, but the ones that got, they were pretty hard to set up. And the ones that got easy to set up and pretty much automatic was Pelican Cluster, I think it was called, uh, in about 2010 or 2012. Ah, uh, already got the fatal error. I don't think she's going to boot. Well, I'm not having any luck with a single thing I've tried to boot today. Nothing will boot. Of course, there's a lot of this is stuff I've never tried before or haven't in a long time. I've tried. I've installed Komodo on a system before and ran it and didn't care for it too much. But I didn't. Uh, tr I didn't even never knew they had a boot. Boot rescue. I so to download. Let's see. So. This one would be interesting if I could get it going, but uh, copy it over to mount HDA one SMS or C SMS. Oh, how funny! I guess I could copy it to the hard drive, then try to boot again. Of course, how would you get it to boot on a Windows system with no grub to boot to it? So you'd have to like, and maybe you could try and put it in a boot grub of a boot grub folder, and then try to install grub two on there and try to do that. That'd be a lot of work just to see if it'd work. I think I'll try it in a virtual machine see if it runs in there, just to see what it is. But evidently, it's not going to work on my easy to boot. Well, I haven't tried one other thing. I haven't tried those. Well, but it only has special. Like I can copy to RAM, but I just did that. <coughs> and then it has a few things for particular ones, like irons and stuff like that. This is, you know, not a well-known distro, at least not to me. Uh, I haven't used a lot of this type. Though these are uh, what they generally call uh, firewall appliance distros, uh, and they're pretty cool. Some of them, uh, some of them are pretty hard to set up. And I, I kept wanting to do that, like take one of my old machines and make it into a firewall and uh, this one's these the ones I just saw today it's a long time since a year or two since I looked at any of them they uh, have a lot more features they were generally just pretty much firewalls and uh, uh, but they're supposed to work you know be more give you more protection than a what store vault you know firewall and uh, router and all that stuff and um, they're updatable I mean you can update the software automatically you can some to auto update automatically so that should give you more protection but the thing is you got a server running and another and a separate one 
I never did see one that you could combine easily anyway between your web server and your firewall so you have to have two machines running so I never did it so uh, anyway I guess SMS is a no go okay I'm gonna just stop the video and go back to the drawing board and see I don't know if there's anything else to run maybe I should just uh, see if this thing will boot into Windows and then go from there I, I, I did get <coughs> What I think is, um, you know, it didn't come up with any more real viruses or trojans. I just thought one more scan would be good, you know. But uh, I didn't think it was going to be such a pain in the butt to get something that would run. Like I said, I run, I've already run through all the ones I've used, used lately and like, down to ones I've never tried before. So let's go figure out what to do and I'll come back.